Hi and hello everybody, my name is Daniel. I just decided let's download OBS and do this video on a topic I wanted to do for quite a while and basically explain to some people Trek IR or Tracker, which is a piece of equipment that enables you in games to turn your head and doing that also turning the camera. The reason for me wanting to do this video is a discussion I engaged in on the Steam forums a while ago where the reason for the discussion was Assetto Corsa Competizione which is coming out soon or yeah actually it is out as a beta uh, early release whatever you want to call it right now and it does not yet to my knowledge support track IR and maybe it will never will if it never will yeah what a shame I guess um, and people were saying yeah why do you even have track IR why do you want it isn't it totally uncomfortable isn't it really unpractical because there are some misconceptions people tend to have about the software and the gear and how it works I use the track IR tracker pro clip which is a thingy that attaches to my headphones and it has like LEDs, infrared LEDs, which make a special camera that is also included in the set able to calculate where your head is or where you're looking at, where your head is pointing and where it's oriented in space. And it does this in all dimensions. So you can actually turn your head to the left, yeah, to the other left, to the right. You can look up down within certain limits which I will explain you can move your head forward or backward and left and right also within limits and right now because of my game profile I have set up for playing racing games you can't even really see that I'm moving my head left and right right now yeah to start with the most major misconception that people tend to have um, I will need my mouse pointer for this. They think if I want to look here to this side window or for example to this rear view mirror I will actually have to twist my head by 45 degrees because like from the camera view that's like I'm not sure it's even more it's maybe 70 degrees from that ahead to the mirror. But what I'm doing is right now I'm looking here on my screen which is in my case a projector and right now I'm looking here at the center I'm looking yeah now I'm looking straight ahead like there I'm looking for the first corner and when I move my head to the mirror I'm looking here and I'm not twisting my eyes at all so I'm not looking like twisting my head 70 degrees and then twisting my eyes 70 degrees the other direction so I still maintain a view of the monitor. Uh, on the monitor I'm actually, or in the projector, I'm actually looking from this point just here. So it's a very minor change of where I'm looking at from the side view mirror to the front which is here. So it's like this. It's maybe 20% of the way to the to the corner of the screen maybe if I look at the passenger seat I'm looking like now I'm looking here on the stitching I nice stitching on this recaro seat now I'm looking at the recaro logo um, and from the recaro logo to the center yeah it's not that much um, it's not that much I have to twist my head which is the next thing that people tend to yeah consider or that maybe puts people off from actually getting a track IR 
is they think, yeah, doing just this movement from here to here in order to look there on the side view mirror, that's hard to do and it's hard to get used to. Actually, I don't think so. Actually not. Um, it has been a while since I started using Tracker. A few years actually. Um, but I think when I started it took me like an hour to be able to use it meaningfully. At the time I was mainly playing Arma, Arma 3. Or was it Arma 2? I'm not sure, but doesn't matter, really. When I did that, I was like, yeah, I put this thing on, on the headset and set up the software and then I started playing and yeah so after 20 minutes I thought oh maybe it's a bit much so I got into the software for the track IR and reduced the sensitivity a bit and then you get used to it really quickly and after a while you can put up the sensitivity again because you will notice maybe you want to look here really to the really far to the back just to get a better overview but you have turned down the sensitivity so you're looking at the edge of the screen right here and it's really not working. Right now I'm looking at the edge of the screen and it's already where the tracker arc loses track of my head and freaks out. But for the racing game setup that's a non-issue because you're not looking here in racing. And I will show you in a minute um, driving a lap around Zandvoort Circuit Park here where I'm looking and how it is, how it feels like. And you will also be able to kind of replicate how it feels like for me where I'm looking because I will just tell you always where I'm looking. Maybe I will go, I'm not, not maybe, I think I will go quite slow around the course and I will tell you exactly the points where I'm looking, apexes, exits, breaking points, stuff like that. I, or I will try to look at those because I'm not that familiar with the circuit. I'm not driving here too often, but I thought it's ki kind of a curvy track and a short track, so you can actually see a lot f with regards to the tracker, how it works, because I have to look for apexes and corners all the time and I always have to do like this and that. And when I tell you where I'm looking on the screen and you also look at those points on your screen, then you will know actually how much you have to turn your head or how much I am turning my head physically in order to maintain a view on those markers. Yeah. So without further ado, let's start our lap around the track. Then I will get into some more details on other technical stuff, which I think is more of a comparison with we are but yeah let's just go ahead put it into gear or something like that yeah we have pedals i know um, and let's go for a little ride and another reason for me going really slow is usually i don't record because my hardware is not the highest end one and I get quite a bit of lag, so I have a low FPS. Yeah, I will start telling you where I'm going right now, or where I'm looking. Here I look at the apex, now I'm looking at the exit, now I'm looking at the next apex, which is here. Now I'm looking for the exit, kind of, hitting the gas. Now I'm looking here at the inside, at the white line. Now I'm looking for the next apex. Next apex. Now I'm looking here for the white line where the corner is where I want to hit my basically hit my wheel on the on the white line. Now I'm looking at the next apex. Now I'm looking at the exit here. On the inside. Now I'm looking for the next apex here for this plate. I'm looking for the corner exit. Now I'm looking uh -uh, I have to break down here. Almost forgot that this is a slow corner really not that experienced on this track. 
Now I'm looking for the next apex. Now I'm looking already at the corner exit there at the hut, at the per personnel. Oh my god, I forgot. I forget English when I drive. Um, next apex. I'm looking at the apex. Now I'm looking at this apex. At this uh, hut cap there. The circular, circular thing. And in drifting, you'd be losing it. Um, you can also still easily look ahead where you're going while you're losing traction. That's also quite nice for somebody, especially when you're moving into racing games for the first time with the tracker and you've not used VR or track IR before. You will notice that it's really, really cool. You're able to look straight ahead where you're going, even though your car is going sideways. Okay next apex here then we will use a little bit more time for this exit I'll just say where we're looking apex next apex which is here exit which is here next apex in here now I'm looking at the exit again which is up here inside white line white line white line I'm looking at the white line Next apex here, next apex, which is here. Now I'm looking at the next apex, or I'm looking here at the white line, I'm looking for the apex. Now it's gone, I'm looking for the exit. Next apex, exit, apex again. Slower here, next apex. Exit. Ah, too far out. This apex here, if you want to call it like that. Now I'm breaking point. And missing the breaking point, actually. <laughs> As I said, and I didn't expect to perform really here. I have quite the low frame rate which is another excuse, I know. Apex. Exit. Yeah, that one went quite nice. Apex. Now, let's go into the pit. Which is actually here on this track. Okay. And let's just park at the actual pit there and as I wanted to say or as I told you right before I started the two laps during those laps if you always looked at the points that I was pointing out where I was looking you kind of saw or you kind of noticed how much your head was moving on the screen and it was not really a lot so I never actually looked to the mirrors which I'm doing now here I always just looked here inside or there I think the f oh I think what actually the farthest in was an apex that was like or an an exit that was like out here but I never really did it farther than this and you will notice on the screen it's like from here to here it's really not a lot where I'm moving my head around yeah that being said the final point which is for me as one of those people who don't have the most high-end PCs with the best hardware with really high frame rates in general and which can run everything at max settings the track IR does not need more resources from your PC than running the game without it. Roundabout. It maybe takes one or two or three percent of your CPU, I'm not sure. But that is really not that much, especially not if you're comparing it to the kind of system you would need for starting with VR. 
which is also one of the points why I'm still not switching to VR and not switching to better hardware because I just don't want to invest like I don't know 1500 euros into a PC and 300 into a VR headset I'm not even sure if they're that cheap or that expensive right now um, so that's another point to consider and especially for a little bit older games like Euro Truck Simulator which is a game I also played with the tracker I'm not sure but I don't think they are generally compatible with VR because they are older but a lot of those games support tracker so if you're doing ETS, ATS if you're doing farm sim for example farm sim supports tracker and I gotta tell you being a simulator player and having played farm sim with those big wood harvesting machines with joystick and the tracker it's a whole other experience than anything else with a controller or something it's way way cooler in my opinion um, I'm not sure if they're already supporting VR too but um, as I've said then you would also need better hardware to support VR maybe you don't want to invest that so then the tracker is a really cool solution um, yeah if you have any other questions or any other yeah things you, that put you off from maybe getting a track IR and maybe you think uh, is it really the right thing for you feel free to ask leave a comment I will maybe not get too much comments to answer them all um, if you like the video you can of course give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it well the thumbs down is always also there but if you didn't like the video if you were missing something if you didn't like any other thing about it please also do tell me so maybe when I do the next video I can improve and I will not suggest you actually follow me and hit the bell icon like all the other YouTubers do because I'm really not uploading that much and not, not that regularly so if you want to do yeah go ahead but don't expect a new video in the next two years if you look at my uploaded video history you will notice that there are maybe two or three right there uh, being very very spaced out yeah so thank you for watching I guess and have a nice day we see each other on the tracks bye